stop your dog from chewing, we have to understand the fundamental principle of controlling their environment. Now, to control our dog's environment, it simply means that we have to know where they are at all times, and then be in control of the variables that that presents. The more variables we can be in control of, the easier it is to stop our dogs from chewing immediately. Now, I'm gonna talk exactly about how you can control your dog's environment a little bit later on, but first we have to look at this next point. And we have to help our dogs understand what it is that we do want them to chew. We have to accept that our dogs like to chew. They don't have hands like we do. They explore the world with their mouths. So it's very, very normal for them to want to put things in their mouth. Chewing as a behavior is also a massive stress relief for our dog and a fun, engaging pastime. So to completely remove chewing would be an unfair expectation, especially for younger dogs who are also teething and their teeth are hurting. So not only is it a fun pastime, not only does it help them relieve stress, but it also takes a lot of pain and pressure out of their teeth. So our job is to help them understand what it is that we do want them to chew. So we need to make sure that we have a range of appropriate chew toys for our dogs to be able to give to them when it's time for them to chew, when we're controlling their environment environment and then praising and rewarding them for doing so. That allows us to communicate to our dogs effectively, it's okay to chew, but this is what I want you to chew on, please. Now we're going to have to also communicate to our dogs what it is that we don't want them to chew, but we'll come on to that a little bit later. Because let's take a step back and look at controlling our dog's environment. And the first way that you can do that is through crate training. One of the single best ways to help your dog stop chewing is to crate train your dog. If your dog is in their crate, they cannot be destroying all of your furniture and hard-earned possessions. Crate training does not need to be cruel whatsoever. If you crate train your dog properly with love and kindness, you will actually find that like my dogs and all of the dogs that I work with, that they end up loving their crate because dogs by nature are denning animals. We just have to teach them that their crate is their den. It's their safe, happy place to relax, decompress and unwind. So by making their crate their favorite place and then having the ability to control their environment with the crate, we are then able to completely remove chewing. But I do understand there might be times where you don't want to use a crate or you just rather not use a crate. So I'm gonna give you another option later in the video. But let's come back to communicating to them what we do want to chew and now what we don't want them to chew. So we're controlling our dog's environment. We're making it really clear to them and giving them plenty of easy access to appropriate chewing toys, we have to have the ability to catch them in the moment and communicate to them that if they're chewing something wrong, that they are chewing something wrong. And we need to do that in a language that they understand. When we are able to observe them, when we are able to watch them, we can keep an eye out for if they decide to chew something that we don't want them to. And when they start chewing something we don't want them to, we want to clearly communicate to them that that is unacceptable. My favorite way of doing this is with an empowered verbal correction. Now, as part of my wider training system, I'm a huge advocate for walking your dog on a loose lead. And as part of that training, you're going to be able to utilize the lead to be able to communicate to them effectively. Whilst we're working on that process, we can empower our verbal correction. It doesn't matter if your verbal correction is no or ah ah or a ch noise, whatever it wants. It can be watermelons for all I care, but the dog does need to understand that that is a challenge of a bad behavior behavior, that we are making them understand that that's not what we want you to do. We need you to stop doing that right now. So what I like to do is classically condition our verbal corrections, our verbal challenging, to help our dogs understand that they're doing something that isn't acceptable. So anytime you might be using your lead to say, hey, stop doing that, please. Anytime you might be having to use your hands to stop them from doing something, use your verbal correction every time. And over time, we start to pair those two things things together. So when we remove the lead or when we remove blocking our dogs or using our hands to stop them from doing things, they understand, oh, that word means that thing. That word means I need to stop doing what I'm doing. If your dog ignores you when you use your verbal challenge, that means that they either don't understand what you mean or they're choosing to ignore you even though they do understand, which is a different problem for a different video that we'll explore.
explore, so don't forget to subscribe. But let's go back to controlling the environment with another option, aside from crate training, and I personally like to use both. Whenever I bring a new puppy into my home, I always crate train them, but I always crate train them and pen train them, and I will pop their crate inside of their pen. That allows me to start giving them more freedom. They don't have to be confined to their crate for long periods of time. But again, they can have their toys, they can have their area, they've got a bit of more room to play, but I'm still confining and controlling the environment so they can't get access to the sofa and completely destroy it. They can't get access to my shoes and tear them to pieces. They can't get access to our brand new rug and absolutely demolish it. Control your dog's environment with crate training and pet training, teach them what it is that we do want them to chew, have the ability to challenge them when they're chewing something that we don't want from them, and very, very quickly you will remove your dog's destructive behavior. 